Hello everyone, this is Dimitar from the Red Mineup support team. In this video demonstration, I'm going to show you how to install Bitnami stack on Windows operating system. Okay, so now we see that we have two red mines, uh, two Bitnami stacks. It is Red Mine 4.1 and Red Mine 4.2. And now we are going to install the very latest Bitnami red mine, which is uh, by now Red Mine 5.0.2. Okay, so the very first thing that you have to do is to go to the Bitnami stack uh, website and download the very latest version. So we have to just uh, write download Bitnami Redmine. Okay, so the site is the official Bitnami stack site. So you click here and we are going to use this section windows mac linux because we are going to download and install for windows operating system okay so we scroll down and uh, see that here is the windows version which is 502 so we click on download and then just click on no thanks just take me to download I have already done this step, so I have already downloaded the file and it is my in my downloads folder and it is this one, Bitnami Redmine 502 installer. It is with size 543 megabytes, almost, yeah, half of a gigabyte. Okay, so we double click on the installer. Okay, we have to be patient here, so the installer has to start. Okay, so here we have to pick the language, which in our case is English. So we click on OK. Okay, continue with installation. Yeah, antivirus program. Yes, we continue. Okay, so we are now into our Bitnami stack Redmine. So we click on next of this installer. Uh, okay, so we do not need for now the PHP admin as well as Git, so we install Redmine. It is going to be installed in folder C Bitnami Redmine 502. So we just click next. We put our name here. So we click now next to continue further with the installation. Yeah, we see Apache Web Server port by default 82. Uh, okay, so we continue. SSL port 446, we continue with next. Okay. So we continue here as well as next. English language, of course, so we click on next. Okay, SMTP, SMTP setting is required, so your application can send notifications. Uh, yeah, this uh, setting could be done afterward, so we could skip it for now. We disable this for now. And we click next to start the installation. So now we have to be very patient because um, yeah, the installation needs some time.
so the installation process is now finished um, it has took me on my computer about 30 minutes however if you have a faster computer then it will be uh, faster for example 10 minutes or 5 minutes it depends on the computer configuration all right so our bitnami stack redmine is now installed we see that redmine 502 has just appeared here into the bitnami stack folder and next to the other redmines that i have already installed in the past all right so the installation um, window says that we have now finished and we could uh, we could start our application so we just click finish and see what is going to happen so we are now into port 82 that we have defined into the installation and it is into my local host uh, address so we just click on access redmine okay so we see that we have entered our redmine which is brand new redmine we have just installed uh, all right so the thing that we could do now is to uh, yeah check our bitnami stack window here we have uh, managed servers tab and we have running processes that is the database as well as the web server so they are now running so our redmine is running accordingly okay uh, so we could enter and log in into our redmine that we have uh, set the username and the password so they are automatically inserted here because I use the same credentials for other redmines however in your case you have to put it manually uh, alright so when you put your username and password you click enter login and we are now logged into our first redmine so when we click on home or my page uh, or projects there is nothing because it is a brand new clean redmine so when we go to administration we see the information there uh, yeah the options of redmine and information which is in our case redmine 502 and it is Ruby 2.6 and Rails 6. Uh, yeah, and we see now that a, there are no uh, plugins installed yet. So these uh, topics are now related to other guides, to other installation guides in our documentation. So if you like, you could check them. There are also video demonstrations, so it is easier for you to install plugins on Bitnami Stack Windows. All right, uh, other thing that you, I would like to show you is uh, if you'd like to stop running your Redmine, then you go to this window and click on Stop All, so your Redmine will stop working. We just wait a little bit. Yeah, we wait for Redmine to stop. Okay, everything has stopped. If we refresh, for example, this page, then there will be nothing here because we have stopped our Redmine. So if you'd like to start again your Redmine, then you have to go to the location where it is installed, which in our case is Redmine 5, and then enter inside, and then open the manager window. So it is this one, manager window. So you have to just double click on it. And when the window pop up, you have to go again to manage server stop and then click on start all. So this will again start your database as well as the web server. So now you are going to use your Redmine again. So we refresh our page. And actually we have to be a little bit patient here because 
red mine uh, needs some time to start uh, so sorry again that my computer is a little bit slow but uh, we have to wait a little bit for starting so we keep refreshing all right so our red mine has just started so we have now up and running red mine again well i hope uh, this video was uh, good and helpful for you and if you like it you could check other videos and articles from our documentation thank you very much for watching it and bye bye for now